What is the problem, or even is there a problem, with breaks and lunches at Backer? The problems with breaks and lunches at Backer is that the majority of the students say that breaks and lunches are too short. I feel that there are so many restrictions at the school, like no students are allowed on the computer breakout areas, considering there is four breakout areas and the reason that the staff is giving is students are leaving litter on the floor. Also, there is another restriction where students are not allowed to use the field for breaks and lunches, only to use it for PE sports activities. One little reason that they're giving is there is a bit of construction for a cricket pitch which the school haven't touched in about six months. The only place where students are allowed to socialise and be active is the canteen and the mugger. However, this is not good because we have to share these facilities with 400 other students. The school always harasses the students to do extra curriculums during breaks, lunches or after school, but this is very hard if the staff hosting the activities cancelled. It is also hard to do these activities, for example, us Year 11s play football in the sports area for break. This is hard because it takes 10-15 to 15 minutes to get changed and get the goals out and we get called in 5-10 minutes early so we, don't, so we don't miss lessons. This means that we only have 10-15 to 15 minutes worth of football time. The teachers think it is fair because they want us to have longer lessons so we can get better grades. This is not fair because most students complain on how, they, how long the lessons are and how they lose concentration. In Finland, they are the smartest school in the world and their education has always been increasing. They're rated the best school in the world and their breaks are an hour long and they're allowed to watch TV. I'm Dylan Davis, I'm the principal of Brighton Knowledge Community Academy. So currently at Backer there are two breaks, there is one at 11.30 until 12 o'clock and there is a second one at 1.20 till 1.40. I think that's a very good point and I, we are investigating with the senior leadership team about how we might change that in the future and your input is really valuable. Not presently, however we are looking at it with the senior leadership team and because you have brought this to my notice we will talk about it more, we will listen to what you've said, and I think for the following year we will have a look at how changes might be implemented. We've thought about that at summer time, in the summer term, and we'll have a look at that again um, after the Easter break and further into the summer when the weather becomes warmer. That's a very interesting question as well because um, finished models of education are very much um, being talked about across lots of schools in the UK at the moment. Indeed, our own team academy is based on a finished model of education. We've not looked at the full length of breaks for over two hours or more, um, but I'm not sure if that's something that would really work in the UK system, but it's an interesting point and I'll have a little think about it. Yes, well, I've taught in Japan. I started teaching in Japan and actually the school length of day was very, very similar. The school breaks were similar as well, but all students actually stayed after school and did at least an hour or an hour and a half of a school club. So they were in school for a very long time. Indeed, some came to school early in the morning and came to school on Saturday morning to do their club and catch up on their work. I see Backer coming much more developed, but if the staff wants to see this school at the top of the list, they need to let the students have a decision as well. I expect some changes to be made, like students be allowed in the computer breakout areas. Also, students be allowed on the field for breaking lunches. My ideal solution, if I was the head teacher, is to listen to the students and take some of their ideas and create it.